I'm back with a haul, a massive haul. So you guys better get your popcorn, get your beer, get your margarita, get that water, get the soda, whatever, sit on down at your computer, TV, whatever you got, and let's just enjoy the madness that is of my vacation shopping. <laughs> I go on vacation once a year. I usually don't really shop like this anymore, so it's a big Hey, deal. beautifuls. So today, I'm obviously back from my main vacation. I am so, so excited to be home, and I am happy to be home, but I do miss being up there all weekend. David and I were like, we need to go back. We need to go back. Why did we leave? We should have stayed an extra day. Like, we originally were going to stay an extra day or try to, but the hotel was like, oh, well, it'll be full price, and you'd have to go to a different room, and we were like, you know what? We'll just leave. We'll just leave. So we ended up getting home Friday at at alt alt like nine o'clock at night because we wanted to stay another day, like a whole day. So um, but yeah, I shopped a lot. <laughs> That's probably what you're here for. And again, Maine was my home, and I just felt so connected and just so happy to be there. Like, I want to move back up there so bad. Like, there's like I really really do at this point. But um, yeah, so again, please excuse my attire. And uh, I'm not wearing makeup today. My hair is kind of in its natural state, drying state, because uh, <sighs> I literally just got home from David's today and like actually back to my house. So, and I am unpacking a little bit, but I want to share this with you guys because I'm really pumped about it. Without further ado, if you want to see what I got, then just keep on watching and let's just get started. So the first place I went was Rennie's. I just took everything out of the bag because you know me, I tried to film this before already. <laughs> the thing I got at Rennie's actually was just this uh, hoodie. Oh, it says Maine on the hood. I didn't even know that. Isn't that cute? It's just this neon pink pullover hoodie because mine I had for years and and I finally just kind of bit the bullet and I decided to get a new one and I love it. It is so pink and pretty and I'm definitely going to be rocking this. It's just, it's so me. The other things that I got were a couple shot glasses. You guys know I have a tradition wherever I go, I have to get shot glasses and I... I got like a million of them this trip, so uh, just throwing that out there. I just got a couple of them. This one says Maine, the way life should be. I love it. It's the state and it's got like all the stuff that Maine is known for, like the moose, lobster, the uh, Portland lighthouse, the bears, blueberries, pine tree, the chickadee, mosquitoes. I like how they put mosquitoes up there because uh, that's how I ended up with a million scars on my legs. Mosquito bites. And the other one I got says I love Maine or me. Kind of like it and it chipped on the bottom no it chipped a little bit mm. um and just has a little state on there which i thought was really really cute so i got a couple of those and then the next place we went was on the naples causeway marina to this little store type of place and they had a rack with everything like was like 50 percent off and they had these pictures which i fell in love with it and just is the state of maine it's all made up of little hearts you see all the little hearts it's just so pretty and just gonna add it to my room because i just I don't know like it just makes me happy just to see it and be like yes this is home and I love Maine so just it goes so I was just really happy to find this it's just I love it next couple things are random they're from Cracker Barrel believe it or not the uh what, what are you the farm store the house store home store I don't know exactly what it's called but I found these Zabel Pandora charms and they were like two for two dollars so I ended up getting a couple I got this little green bejeweled one right here for mental illness awareness and then I got this anchor because obviously we were in Maine and I just fell in love with it It looks really really pretty so these are gonna go on my Zabel bracelet once I find it because I'm still on pack <laughs> the next things I got were when David and I went to Old Orchard Beach thing I got was this t-shirt I saw this the first time we were in there and then we went back. I was like, honey, I have to go buy it. I have to get it. I have to get it. And it's just this tie-dye, beautiful Old Orchard Beach t-shirt. I'm in love with this, especially with the whole tragedy that happened in Orlando, which is truly devastating. And I just, I wanted to show a little bit of my support and just, I love the colors. I always had a spot for rainbow. I love rainbow. I liked rainbow when I was little too. Maybe that's just me. I love bright colors. So it's just so pretty. The colors are so neon. Oh, just in love. Then the next shirt that I got was kind of the same-ish one as the one that I got in Atlantic City. If you guys remember from my haul last year, it is just this kind of, it looks like a Victoria's Secret kind of varsity crew. And it just says Old Orchard Beach, Maine on the front. And on the back, it says the same thing. And I got this one because it was like ombre-ish. And I really liked that. It was like pink to white to yellow instead of just the pink and white, which I just fell in love with it. It was so pretty and I just love randomly wearing these like I don't know like one of my favorite t-shirts is an Atlantic City t-shirt so I mean I really just I love touristy clothes I just something about it just makes me really happy and then the last clothing item I got was just this tank top it says 
1883 Old Orchard Beach. Kind of see-through-ish, but I don't really mind. It looks really, really pretty. It's a medium. This will fit me, and if it don't fit me, then I'll look really weird. But I just really loved it a lot. Really, really cute. Last thing I got was a shot glass. I got this one. It says, I love Old Orchard Beach, Maine. And it's just is pretty neon pink. It reminds me a lot of my uh, Mesquamacate shot glasses that I got before, but I just, I really liked it a lot. So upon coming up to Maine, the first place we went was the Kittery Outlets because I wanted to go there for the CCO, of course. Mm -hmm. And they had Zoomies for David and Paxon, so I was like, you know what? We need to go. Um, yes, it's in a Marshalls bag, but again, everything is just kind of thrown because I had so many. Like, I bought like one or two things from each store, so it seems like it's a lot, but it's really not in my mind. I got one of these Starbucks frap cups because I have been wanting a new one, and a couple of mine are old and cracked, and they're going to be thrown away. So I decided to get this one. I've been eyeing it for so long. It's just so cute, and there's just what the inside of the straw. And it's just it's really really cute so that's I, this wasn't one of the first things I got but I did get this at Starbucks the place we went was the Kittery Trading Post and I did get a couple things I did try to open this that's why it looks like this okay for the record I got a mossy oak pink real tree t-shirt because you guys know me I love my real tree and I just fell in love with this shirt it's just really really pretty and cute and it matches everything else real tree that I have pocket knife this is the muddy girl camo easy open knife before I tried to open it because I wanted to put it in my purse but that is what it looks like. I know people are gonna be like oh my god you have a pocket knife but it's pretty common. I've grown up with men in my family and women in my family that have pocket knives on them or you know in an emergency or if someone tries to, to take you or something like that like it's just a really handy thing especially I know um, a lot of people in my family that go fishing they use these so it's not it's not an uncommon thing for me so um, I'm not intending on using this to harm anyone just for my own use and to keep with me and if there was a situation where I was being kidnapped or someone was trying to kill me then I can defend myself kind of like why I have the mace so it's it's multi-purposeful but I'm very very happy that I finally have my own like I've been wanting my own for so long like it's not even funny the CCO of course they had a lot of Mac stuff but I didn't want to get any more face things because I felt like I was gonna break out I honestly am not sure if Mac products break me out or not completely so I didn't want to like buy more and then like risk that so I ended up getting a couple Mac Pro longwear lip glasses and the first one I got was in boundlessly beige which I just absolutely fell in love with this color it is just so pretty you think it would be a beige but it's actually this pretty shimmery color oh love it this one I actually wore when I was um, when I was up in Maine and it did last a very long time on me but the only thing I hated was that it was like building up like kind of around my lip and leaving that weird like white crusty stuff that's my only con but other than that it is just so pretty I loved it and then the other one I got is I can't say the name of this so I'm sorry infin definitely infinitely likable I think that's what it's called <laughs> it's funny because this one's actually more of the beige color so they should have just swapped the colors out but it's so pretty it's like an everyday color that I would definitely wear on my lips and last a very long time so I'm very excited for that one and then it was really funny because the lady's like oh I'm gonna give you this 20% off coupon you can come back in a month and use it and I'm just like lol I live in Connecticut but um, I got a 20% off coupon there is a CCO in my state so I will definitely be putting this to use Aeropostale because because Aeropostale, a lot of the stores are going out of business. I'm quite aware of that. Um, none really near me. They still have really cheap prices, so I decided to go in. And the first thing that I actually picked up were these pair of shorts. They were so soft. Like, I felt them, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm just in love with these, especially since a lot of my pink shorts that I've had for years and years and years are getting so worn out. It's not even funny. They're just, like, the softest things ever. And then I did end up getting a couple crop tops because I'm on the hunt for crop tops and high-waisted shorts because like I said I've been losing weight and feeling better about myself and I feel really good in a crop top and high-waisted shorts I don't know what it is I just like a new spring of confidence comes out of me but I just that's what I was really mainly on the hunt for this trip like what I really wanted to buy so I just got this one's really cute it's just a palm tree on it it's kind of like a loose fitting kind of top I think it was like five dollars so really really good deal and the other crop top I ended up getting was just this one that a lot of girls have been rocking these with like the high neck and the low kind of 
back to it so I just got this black ones kind of quilted like that it's really really cute and it was also I think five bucks a pair of aviators I love aviator sunglasses they're some of my favorites so I got this one because I really loved you guys can see the rainbow in there I really love that effect and I think these were like seven dollars so I was like um yeah give me another pair of sunglasses fun fact I bought another pair too <laughs> but I really love them a lot like, anything colorful I'm like <gasps> but I also like plain stuff now too so I don't know it's like a weird balance the last place at the outlet that I actually went to I went to PacSun and I only picked up a couple things it's actually dirty so I apologize but I did wear it when I was up in Maine is this crop top you guys have probably seen it already on my Instagram and my snapchat it's just this one that ties in the around the neck and it says leave me alone which I wanted this top when I saw it when I went to the mall with Danielle and I was like you know what I'll wait but it was so worth the wait and this is actually medium and it fits me so I was like whoa I can fit in mediums now that's crazy I'm so excited it's just me seriously if you have social anxiety it's basically like leave me alone seriously mm -hmm. and then the other thing I got because everything in the store was buy one get with 50% off I just got one of these puff keychains that everyone has been like going after and going crazy for just this black one and it's just really really cute and it has two different little things on it so I can make my pick Marshalls we had a Marshalls near us in our hotel so I dove right in but you guys are gonna be like really Sam did you really need to buy that but yes yes I did because I I love my new me curler but I wanted one with a bigger barrel so I ended up picking up this one it's just this 32 millimeter classic wand curling wand in the color pink and it was $25 so that is what it looks like I am literally so obsessed with my new my smaller one that I was like I have to get a bigger one for the days that I want like bigger curls and not just smaller looking curls so I'm very excited about this and another trip that we took to Marshall's which I actually bought a purse and then I returned it today because I was like I don't really need this purse because I just bought another a different purse you guys will see I ended up getting this tank top that I love so much it says stay positive be happy and live free which is something that I really live by and I just try to kind of you know be positive every day even though some days really suck but I really love this shirt found some Stila products <laughs> at Marshall's I don't know what it is but I could find a lot more things that like I'm on the hunt for or like more makeup products or more things that I want in Maine I don't know what it is I went to Marshall's today to return the purse I looked at the makeup section and they had like only two of these and they had like a million of them at the one that I went to I don't know it's custom color blush and self-adjusting pink so I'm guessing it just automatically adjusts itself to your skin tone when you put it on and I did swatch it on my hand if you guys saw my snapchat and I was so excited for it so oh my gosh it's so pretty like look at that color oh gosh it's just so pretty in pink like I'm not planning on using this like being clowny but it was so pretty I could not pass it up it was the only one there I have a couple of these magnificent metals lip glosses oh my gosh I got one for my mom too because they're just so pretty like look at that this one's in pink sapphire oh my god and they smell so good like oh my goodness they're just amazing I love these colors and then I got another one that's kind of similar it's the same kind of deal they're both shimmery glosses but this one is in a moonstone it's just a lighter shimmerier color just so pretty I was gonna get a couple more and then I was like you know what Sam you have a lot of lip stuff calm down I love it so much so the next place David and I went to was Walmart we actually found some touristy stuff there so I ended up getting some stuff from my mom and my sister and I also picked up a couple more shot glasses I hope these didn't break the first one that I found this one says I love Maine which you're probably like Sam you already have that but it's a heart it is so freaking cute I fell in love with it and then this one I really loved I was gonna get a different one but then I was like nah I have to this one says I got tipsy in Maine and it's just like on its side because get it you're tipsy like haha ha, shot glass I just love that so much it's just so funny so I picked that up as an lol I found this in the clearance section and these things have been coming back in style these are kind of like choker necklaces like I used to have a black one in middle school that I was obsessed with so I just got these it was 50 cents for a purple and a pink one and yes I am gonna wear these and finally the last things I picked up were some new makeup products that have been out and about and I really wanted to try so the first is the new L'Oreal 24 hour foundation infallible pro glow and I got mine in 202 creamy natural because mine the one that I got with the uh 
Pro Matte one. It's really, really dark on me. I feel like it's really too yellow. So I got this one. They didn't have ivory, so let's hope it matched. I got a couple other new drugstore items too, like this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. This one's in classic ivory. So that is the color right there. I absolutely love these palettes because it reminds me of when I was like like the Clinique palettes that my grandma and my mom used to use all the time. And so that is what the color looks like. We're going to test that out. I got a couple of these new Maybelline Color Jewel Intense Lip Paints. I got number 10 Never Bare and number 5 Stripped Down. They remind me a lot of the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks, which I have one and I'm not crazy about it. Like I love the color of it, but I'm just like, it's like, eh. Like it's not something that I'm like, oh my god, I need to use it all the time, but I'm just really excited to try these out for you guys, and uh, they look like really, really fun, so I'm really pumped for that. I like that I see more of like high-end kind of styled makeup coming to drugstore just because like I know a lot of people can't afford it. Like I can't afford high-end all the time, so it's really, really nice and I'm really pumped about that. Restocked on my Wet n Wild setting spray because <laughs> I love this stuff so much, so I had to buy another one, and I was afraid it was going to run out when I was up there, but come to my surprise, I didn't really wear makeup that much. Go figure. So the next places I went was Five Below. Now I don't have one around me. I know there's one up in Manchester, but obviously I don't go to Manchester all the time, so I can't go there. But I've always wanted to go to this store because I've heard such good things and just a lot of cheap stuff that I'm just like, ah, I need to go. The thing I got when I went the first time was a uh, floaty, which is actually sitting right here that I used in the lake and you guys saw already on my Instagram and Snapchat. It was $3 and it's just this hot pink neon frost tube because I love using a float when I'm in the ocean or lake or in the pool or anywhere because I just have a thing about, especially like in a lake or a beach, like touching the bottom. Like if I get too deep or something, like I don't want to... Like, I just have, I don't know, I have a fear I'm going to go under the water. It's, it's very weird, but I always need a floaty, and this was perfect. And then that same trip, I actually got one of these t-shirts, which I saw this same t-shirt at Zoomies for, like, 30 bucks, And I was like, what the hell? Like, it was all the exact same t-shirt. It said the exact same thing. It was crazy. So I ended up getting this alien shirt. It just says far out. I love, love this because you guys know I'm an alien. I have a fascination with UFOs and aliens, so... No exception. I had to get it. It was just so, so cute. And then the last thing on that trip that I got was the Minion Banana Tic Tacs. And I got Bob. He's so cute. Um, I actually got a different another thing when I went the first time, but they didn't fit me. I got some jelly shoes. They didn't fit, so I returned them. But I love these. I've been on the hunt for these damn Tic Tacs forever. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for them to pop up in Walmart or Stop and Shop, but... I found them at Five Below, so I was very happy about that. Second time that I went to Five Below to return the shoes, I picked up an imitation fragrance. <laughs> this was five bucks. This is the Fabulous Rock perfume, our version of Rocker Femme, Femme Fantasy by Britney Spears, which smells so freaking good. Like, oh my gosh, I smelled it in the store, and you guys won't believe, the bottle looks almost identical to the real Fantasy bottle. My goal in life is to collect every Britney Spears fragrance because I love her and I've loved her since I was six years old so and she just announced she's getting putting out another perfume so I'm like girl you are killing me here so I just I had to get it so it's just it smells so good like this set lasted on me so long I was like oh my gosh this perfume that's what the bottle looks like like look at it looks so similar to the original one like what you wouldn't even think this was imitation if you didn't see that like would you think this was imitation at first glance Mm -mm. So the next thing I got was actually just a three subject notebook. I know kind of random This was three dollars and this actually kind of caught my eye because it's a little thing that you can put stuff in but mine's kind of broken Meh, But it's okay. Um, it has three subjects in there I am taking three classes this fall semester So I figured this would be good for that and it's pink so I love it I picked up this hat because I really I don't know I really loved wearing my Carhartt hat when I was in Maine So I picked this one up. It says breathe in breathe out which is like life, like breathe in, breathe out all the time. I feel like I look kind of dorky with it. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's not with this outfit, but it's just so cute. I really loved it a lot and just, my again, my anxiety. Breathe in, breathe out. Everything is okay. I also got just this tiny little bottle of frizz cream, um, frizz control hair cream because I needed it because my hair was really frizzy, but I ended up not even using it because I suck. So this is the Not Your Mother Smooth Moves Frizz Control Hair Cream. I used to have this. I love this stuff. It was amazing. It's just kind of like the John Frieda Frizzies one that I use. But it smells like coconut and it's like unbelievable. So I got one of these. I think it was like a dollar something like for the travel size. And the last things that I got were actually four blow pops. 
because they were a dollar or like 25 cents each. So I got bursting berry raspberry, strawberry kiwi, blue raspberry, and what melon. What melon? Watermelon? Watermelon. So I just got these four. I actually thought that they were like the big ones at first, but they weren't. But I still love little pots. No puns there. Someone's gonna put a pun in there. <laughs> This isn't what it looks like, but it is. <laughs> Next place I obviously went was the main mall. Yeah. Uh, the first place I actually went in there was Ulta, and I went twice because the first time I forgot to get something I wanted. So on the way to Old Orchard, we just stopped anyways, and uh, I got some clearance stuff too, so I'm very happy about it. So the first thing I actually got was this Hello Kitty by OPI nail polish kit, and it comes with a little dotting tool, and there's a milk bottle, Let's Be Friends, Never Have Two Manny Friends, Five Apples Tall and my twin Mimi, which I love the Hello Kitty collection so much, but I didn't want to get them because they're obviously expensive and I have so many nail polishes that I don't use, but these are all little mini polishes. This was only $10 on clearance. It was originally $20, so I was really excited about it. It's basically, it's basically like $2 a bottle, which I don't mind paying, so I was really, really excited to find this. And then the next thing was just a shower cap because mine obviously is hanging up over here and it's kind of eh, and kind of starting to stink a little bit. So I just got this sequin one. It's really cute and it was $3. I got some NYX products, of course. I got the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Alien because, duh, Alien. Yeah, you guys know. I love it. I think it's like this dark, like black kind of little bit of blue tinted kind of color. I don't know. I'm swatching it here. It looks so pretty. I wanted it ever since NYX announced new lip colors for the suede line. I was like, I'm sold. I'm sold. I need to go get that color. I ended up getting the NYX matte liquid liner because everyone's been talking about it. I never bought it. All the times I went to Target to go buy it, like the NYX display is literally wiped out like this. I'm literally not kidding you, so I'm very, very happy that I found it. I picked up one of these Revolution Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighters because this was the new brand. Everyone's been talking about this too on YouTube, and I really wanted to try it out. So I got this highlight. It's in Peach Lights, which is so pretty. I was like, oh, I need to pick it up. And I think it was like five, six bucks too, which is really cheap. So I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Then when we went back to Ulta again, I got a couple more NYX products. I really wanted to get one of these NYX ombre blushes because everyone like was talking about them months and months ago and I kind of fell off that bandwagon but I got back on so I got this color it's in soft flush which is that's what the color looks like I got this kind of color because I have a lot of pinks and a lot of mauves and I was like you know what let's try something different so I got this one and then I got this NYX matte bronzer in medium because I figured it'd be a little bit I figured that the light would be a little bit too light on me, so I decided to get this one. I'm really excited to try it out. I heard the NYX matte bronzer is amazing as well. So next I went to Forever 21, which I never really do go to Forever 21. I just usually do on vacation. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. But I do like some of their cheapy clothes, so I was like, why not? So the first thing that I actually got was a t-shirt. That This is kind of dirty too. I'm sorry. I wore this yesterday. I just got this knit t-shirt, which is really, really cute, and it's really plain, and I really liked it. It was very comfortable. I actually ended up getting another phone case because the one that I used when I brought to Maine, like, was just, it was the worst phone case like it was so annoying it would not stop falling off my phone so I got this one if I find a picture of it I will put it right here but it's so cute it's the same one that Tana Mojo bought I didn't even mean to buy the same one she did but it was the only cute one and it was about $6.90 so I really like that after that we went to Best Buy I got a couple CDs I got I don't know what it is I think it's like a tradition thing because the last time I went to Maine I bought Beyonce's last album so I bought Lemonade because I've yet to listen to it everyone has I have yet to so I got Lemonade the visual album and I'm so excited like I am so excited to listen then I got this one out of the $5.99 bin. This is the Foreigner Jukebox Heroes. Foreigner is one of my favorite bands, thanks to my mom. I love a lot of old music. That's something about me you guys probably don't know. Like, I love a lot of 50s music, 70s, 80s. Like, I grew up with a lot of oldies and a lot of my family listening to the same stuff. So, I naturally love it too. So, I'm just, I'm really excited for this. It was $5.99, Foreigner. You're a Foreigner fan like it up. The next I went to the store called Garage and I actually don't have one of those stores in any of the malls that I go to so I was like I need to go in there and I got some crop tops and it was a very expensive pricing 
and I'm not very happy about it. I got some crop tops because again that's what I'm mainly on the hunt for this vacation and I just got this blue one it's just really flowy and pretty I really really like the v-cut in the front I got this one which I really really liked is really kind of like that bralette kind of looking like balconet kind is am I saying that right balconet kind of top so I just got this one <laughs> I checked out their pink store. I had to go in. I had to go in and see what they have. I went obviously into pink first. So I just got a couple more items. Just kind of plainish tank tops. Nothing too crazy. So I just got this gray one right here. And then I also got a black one. That just looks like that. So they're both basically plain tank tops that I like to work out in. And then I was really excited because I found this... And this was actually like a bundle outfit deal a while back, but I really, really wanted it. So I ended up getting it. It's just this pink shin top. And on the back it says, go pink or go home. and has a hood on it. Really good for the summer. So I was really excited to find that. Like I said, I don't know what it is, but in Maine, I can always find what I'm looking for. And in Connecticut, not so much. Maybe that's just me. The last thing that I got to that time, I got the Sunkiss Smoothening Sand Scrub. This was six bucks on clearance. I love scrubs before I do my tanning, you guys know. They gave me a coupon for a free body mist with a purchase. So I'm probably gonna use that. Maybe, maybe I'll give it to my sister or something because I have so many body mists, honestly, it's like insane. I went to the regular Victoria's Secret and I only got a couple things. I mainly got, you guys are gonna kill me. I got a backup of my Bombshells and Bloom perfume because I really wanted to buy a backup this sale because it's only $20. It's so cheap and this is one of my favorite scents so I had to do it. Also just got a couple of the Beauty Rush Sheer flavored glosses. I got Kiwi Kiss and Electric Strawberry and I actually really love these a lot. I was using this one yesterday and just smelled so good. It was so glossy. It lasted a while so that's what they look like. They were $3 I believe. I think they were three dollars or three fifty a piece. I could be wrong, but really good deal. So definitely, like the sale's almost over. Go check it out, guys. I just always go in there because like every store is kind of different. And so then I went back again. Actually, this was at the Danbury Mall in Connecticut that I went again. So I figured I'd share this with you guys. But I got a couple of the Bombshells and Bloom body lotions to go with my perfume. Because again, favorite perfume. I found the body lotions. I had to pick them up. They were five bucks a piece amazing deal definitely go pick them up if you can find them they are like oh i love them so much while we were still at the main mall i went to the bath and body Works sale of course and i just got a few things i didn't really go crazy like i used to I'm just eh, kind of over it but i got another body scrub this is the sweet piece golden sugar scrub again before tanning and all that kind of fun stuff so i got some of the old 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 throwback 90 cents i got cucumber melon shower gel and lotion then I also got some of their older types of scents. I got Napa Valley Sunset Shower Gel and the so some some high Sonoma Weekend Escape Body Lotion. The last thing I actually got was a stress relief body wash and foam bath. This is Eucalyptus Basil. Again, stress relief stuff is amazing for Bath and Body Works. I love it. It really does relax me and I have very bad anxiety sometimes, so definitely go and pick that up. It was like five bucks. So cheap. So cheap compared to like how much was this originally? 13 yeah i'd rather pay the five got another coupon probably not going to use it because i'm not going to shop at bath and body works till halloween y'all know how i do then the last bag i want to show you guys i know this haul is like incredibly huge like holy crap you guys are probably going to kill me now but i went to pre-mark in the danbury mall and i had a very bad experience actually going to the mall in general which again if you guys want me to do a story time video about that i will i have no shame and i wrote a really bad yelp review for them too um and the funny thing is, I wasn't even shopping in the store. I just had to go in the bathroom. So if you guys want to hear about that, comment below, like the video, and I definitely will do that for you guys. But uh, I found this store. It's called Premark. I've never heard of it before. I think I feel like it's just a Danbury Mall thing because it just it says Danbury Fair Mall. I don't know if it's a part of Sears or what. So if you know, let me know because I'm curious. But yeah, so the stuff I got was so cheap, so cheap. I was like, what? Like, this is crazy. The store was packed. It was like a giant freaking store. So many good deals. There was guys. There were girls. There was makeup. I didn't buy the makeup, though. But it was incredible. So I had to share this with you guys. So the first thing I got was this purse. And my mom was like, oh, my God, where'd you get that? I have to get it, too. This was, you guys, I think this was on sale. It was originally 18 It was $7. 
$7. You heard me right, $7. Yeah, so I was just so taken aback by that. I love it. It's like a nice little suede kind of material. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. It's really big on the inside. It has an extra strap to it. There's a zip on the other side. I just wanted like a big kind of tote bag because I love my pink purse, but it's just such a pain in the ass sometimes to just like take it around with me. So I wanted a cute kind of bag I could just throw stuff in for the summer and just in general so I picked this up and I'm just so in love with it I'm so excited to use this you have no idea it'll be great for school too I could just throw all my books in there and stuff and just go next thing I got was a pack of gold hoop earrings because I'm just kind of into that now like my mom hey mom um these were a dollar fifty for all of these a dollar fifty for one two three four five five pairs of earrings amazing really happy with that like holy crap their earrings were so cheap, their sunglasses were so cheap, so I was like, oh, I kind of went a little crazy in the store, I'm not going to lie. Um, I got another pair of sneakers because the ones I bought at Charlotte Russe are kind of, the soles are coming up and it's like all sticky underneath my feet, so I'm going to have to throw them out soon. But these were five bucks, they're all black sneakers that I like to wear with high-waisted shorts and in general, <gasps> so freaking cute. I am just like in love with them, they are so comfortable, oh, I'm so excited for these. And then the other pair of shoes I got. Now, you guys know, I went to Five Below. I bought a pair of jelly shoes. They didn't fit. I returned them. I found at this store, they had so many pairs of jelly shoes. Like, I was obsessed with them when I was a kid. I th This is a whole other thing you guys know about me. I used to have, when I was little, I was obsessed with jelly shoes. And I wore them and I fell down the stairs with them so many times, like, I, but I was so obsessed with these jelly shoes. It was so, like, you guys remember these? Like, I was obsessed. I love them so much. So, I've been kind of on a hunt to get another pair. And so, I ended up finding these. These are so neon. These neon, corally, pink flip-flops with the little bows. Oh, my gosh. They are so cute. They fit me. And I'm just, I'm really pumped to wear them. They're just so adorable. They're for says swim and beach collection but oh my gosh they had all different colors they had like a white a lavender a green i should have got the white ones too but you know i didn't want to be that crazy so i only got these these were three fifty three dollars and fifty cents for these and they're like really like sturdy like jelly shoes like they're not going to snap in half so i'm so excited for these just got a couple pairs of these high-waisted jegging skinny jean type of pants and they're both just high-waisted got a couple dark pairs so here's this pair and then here's this darker pair. I just really, I'm really, I'm getting, I'm getting a little ready for fall here. So I was like so excited to see that. Look at this pile. Like this is crazy. I'm not doing this again for a very long time. I promise. <laughs> like I seriously promise. And then I got a couple pairs of high waisted sort of shorts. I got this blue pair because I was gonna get a different pair. They didn't have my size. So I just really, really love these. They're nice and flowy. You could just pair with a crop top and go. Also got this leopard pair because of course, leopard, cheetah, whatever you wanna call it. So, so cute. So cute. I just, I fell in love with these. But the last thing that I got was these sunglasses. They are so cute. These were $3.50, you guys. Like $3.50. I just fell in love with these. I really love the style of them. They had a nice, pretty little lens right there with the blue. They had all different colors, like a dusty rose color. They had different colored, um, lenses too. Just so pretty. I fell in love with these. So that was my massive main and coming home from Maine haul. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it helped you in some way. Again, I'm not planning on shopping like this ever again until like maybe October when the Halloween stuff comes out. You guys know I'll go crazy for that, but other than that, um, I'm good. I'm really, I'm pretty good. I'm really happy with everything that I got. I usually shop big on vacations because, you know, you're, re you're relaxing and I like to shop and I haven't shopped in a very long time. So I'm very happy with everything that I got and the deals that I got. And um, yeah, so uh, if you guys enjoyed this, then just like this video and let me know. And um, yeah, if you guys want to see the story time videos again, I'm going to wrap this up quick because as we speak, this is 52 minutes long. Holy crap. Hopefully I can edit it down. But I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in my next video.